The mission of the Biswa Lab for pain imaging at Stanford University is to ultimately help those suffering from pain. This is the most prevalent disease now on Earth. And it's quite unfortunate that these patients, they're often marginalized or thought of as being crazy. I was being told my MRIs were normal and that my, I should be done with my physical therapy already. I shouldn't have any more pain. And I wanted to just say, but I still feel pain. My pain is real. What is exciting about this research is that it's a new area. We're not really just improving something existing in nuclear medicine and organ imaging. We are proposing this is a new radiopharmaceutical that could be available for us for a new clinical application, such as localization of a somatic pain. We are really trying new things, and then hopefully this will really end up helping people. There's a potential for this to, to completely change the way that we, we treat pain these days. When I see a patient who comes in for pain, often they can't figure out where it's coming from. They'll say, it hurts here, which makes it very hard for us to figure out where to treat. So this imaging allows us to drill down. Here is where the problem is. This is where it's active. This is where it's hurt. And then we are able to focus our intervention, our surgery, to hopefully treat what's causing the pain. My specific research in terms of diagnosing pain generators, utilizes a technology called PET and MRI simultaneously. Our imaging is unique because we do not really depend on the findings from the structural imaging. We do offer the structural findings, but we augment that by offering molecular imaging evidence, which is coming from experimenting with this new molecular tracers. So we inject that tracer and it circulates around our body and we can take a picture of the PET camera and the PET camera will say there's a hot spot in a certain location and that hot spot corresponds theoretically to where your pain is coming from. At the same time we're doing MRI which is kind of a morphologic anatomic form of imaging and we fuse the two images together to say that this hot spot occurs in that part of your body. We may be finally able to localize where uh, the source of pain and the ideology of uh, pain, rather than you know, having to treat this pain more generally, we may be able to target and change patient management directed to where the source of pain is. We have fundamentally two different clinical trials going on. One is with uh, a tracer called FDG, which has been used for many decades, and we're just repurposing it for these in pain. The second one is a radial ligand to the Sigma-1 receptor. Particularly this uh, radio tracer we provide here for the pen imaging. It is an amazing application of this tracer to pinpoint the pen generator in the body, uh, which currently the other image modality cannot do it. Sigma retinal imaging is very promising because it allows us to measure pain at a picomolar level, so with the sensitivity of PET, combined with the structural, the structural uh, high-resolution imaging of MR. This is absolutely a multidisciplinary effort. The development of these techniques required the expertise of a number of chemists, radiochemists, MR physicists, MR scientists, and then on the clinical side, I really am heavily dependent on pain specialists, pain surgeons, if you will, uh, neurosurgeons, and those who are expert in treating those with pain. So uh, without this multidisciplinary effort, none of this is possible. And I'm extremely grateful for the alliances that have been possible here at Stanford. I had one patient uh, who came to me with a chart that was this big, had seen everybody, no one knew why his foot hurt. And they sent him to us to try and figure it out. And I looked and I couldn't figure it out. And we then got this imaging and it showed that there was a muscle injury that hadn't been recognized. He couldn't walk more than a block. And we did a small, tiny surgery to release the tension on that muscle, and that was it. He was fixed. To somebody with chronic pain, I want to tell you that it's real to you and it's real to, to me. And having this research and being part of this research project was very validating for me in, di in helping to diagnose the areas that my pain was coming from and get appropriate therapies with my physicians. We're bringing in a new era of medicine where uh, diseases will be better classified and I'm hopeful using this technology to better diagnose patients suffering from pain.